and welcome to the Ifa Orisha traditional discussion. And as usual, your host is Baba Iwaliwa or Baba Melo, as we all know him affectionately as Baba Melo. All right, Baba, we on live. Baba, boy, all right. One of the challenges I had was in being able to share this live to several platforms, right? Um, for some reason, Facebook was not allowing me to do that, All right? But it's something I'm still kind of working on as we are actually live. I'm trying to see if I would actually be able to see the stream on my page because they allowed me to share it there. All right, so as soon as it comes up on my page, hopefully I should be able to share it a couple other places. All right. All right, but I, I was just introducing the topic, but I will let you um go ahead and do that a little bit while I do some work in the background here to try to get things up. I'll say a boy, boy. Well, she shared to all listeners in Ifa we share discussions. Um, welcome. Our discussion today will be leadership. And not just the role of the leaders, but also in leadership as the followers in recognizing and understanding how to relate with leadership. All right. Um, as I will do, Ogbe Ate, Ogbe Irete. If it's correctly, I make sure it's the correct one. All right. Rifa says, Elek Beje. The owner of 1400 things was returning from the ocean. He was marching majestically inside the money sack. Ain was the one who gave birth to Osin. Osin gave birth to Ajewe Doja, he who swam across the river daily at dawn. While Ajewe Doja was Ain busy, was the one who gave birth to Osin in the river. Oh, you are here? Yes, I'm hearing you. I'm sorry about that. I was just doing some technical. Oh, that's yeah, I went yeah. over to YouTube. So we right. are streaming also on YouTube. So I'm going to try now to share the YouTube li the links on Facebook with people. Right. Yeah, all right. Go ahead. Sorry sorry about the interrupt. All right, no problem. While Aji where Doja was busy taking his bath in the river, Olu met him there. By the time Olu returned home, he was proud. He was proud of himself a crown of wealth. While Ajiwe Doja was busy taking his bath, Iworo Orisha, Orisha priest, met him there. When Iworo Orisha returned home, he grew a tuft of tough on his head. While Ajiwe Doja was busy taking his bath, the 16 heads met him there. They all made kings in their respective domains. People asked, why is it that all of them were successful? They all responded that it was because they met Ajiwe Doja where he was taking his bath. People then asked after Ajiwe Doja. They responded that Ajiwe Doja had swam and swam. He had become the king of the stream. 200 people were looking after him on his right. 200 were paying respect to him on his left. After he had finished swimming and bathing, he then became Ogbeate, the proud owner of the house full of riches. Here comes Omini, the ruler among all leaves. All Ire belongs to Omini. Both home and path is given unto the cat. Here comes Ogo Leaves, offspring of Ele Wuji. It is only one person I call, but 200 people were answering me. It is the clothes which a Tamilian found on one that they duplicate and wear in its own body. It is every part of Shefu, Shefu Leaves that possesses riches. The matured pigeon had flown to the ocean. The more mature pigeon had flown to the sea in torrents. Let all Iri come troop into our house in Torrance. It is two wings that the pigeon uses to usher in the world brought from the ocean and the sea. I know we always give a little reading and try to break down the ocean. But in a sense, Ajiwe Doja was just doing his role. He's taking a bath. And sometimes like come as most like most leaders are just doing what they are destined to do. Mm -hmm. And they are people who seeking some kind of moving forward and sometimes 
those who just doing what they do and think that they're doing nothing special, but they're doing what is necessary for their comfort, opens doorways and passages for many others to benefit from. Okay. So I might read a book to understand something, and 10 people would have read the book and they can't understand. And I may give the explanation. They may say, well, he could be the leader of wisdom. I say, a one-eyed one man is king in a, a, in a blind man's tongue. <laughs> yeah, in a blind man's world, I guess. In a blind man's world. Mm -hmm. So I say sometimes there's leadership in each of us, but how do we find that leadership? And sometimes it's, we don't have to recognize it or look for a title, look for a position of the leadership, but just doing what it is we're supposed to be doing in this life journey that others can experience some development of growth, development and understanding their purpose as well. Okay. Agreed. Hmm? Now, I'll always tell the question, how did I get here? because this was not my choice in life, but it was destined to be my life. I would be around elders. I could, I would say my spiritual, my shouter, Baptist leader or, or priest, spiritual father, which is, was Edmund Percival Mejias. You know, he was an intellectualist, I would say. And he was always searching. So being around him, I always had that encouragement or mentorship to always search to get the right answer to the right question. Even if he, the answer may sound totally opposite to what everybody believes. Once you have researched and you got by the answer, he's not moving from that. Okay. And people today that celebrate Orisha Shouta Baptist Day, Liberation Day, they mm -hmm. have him to thank for that. Okay because he basically did all the research, brought all the thing, even all the questions that people argue. He had a better answer. This is what he believed and he brought it. So now today they celebrate Orisha Baptist. He was made Senator in the Pandi administration, okay. uh, but he was using, he was there to push for the Orisha holiday and Barbara Burke was there to push for the Baptist Liberation Day. The Shouter Baptist. The Shouter Baptist Liberation Day. Now, a lot of people you know is Mihers, who was really directing Barbara Book, the Bishop Barbara Book, or Archbishop Barbara Book, in, in, in understanding the rule as a shelter. And looking at that, you realize that yes, we believe in something, but sometimes there's more to know than just what we believe. And sometimes when we know something, we have to really look again at what we always used to believe. So in, in taking a journey, I believe that we all, as we always say it in our church, we all chose our destiny, we chose our destiny, or, or we come here to make that destiny manifest. And or, all the other aspects of Orisha within us is to basically push us to fulfill that destiny, to make the world better than how we met it. Okay. Well, and, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, well, I mean, I can't help but agree with all that you've said so far. And, um, you know, I, I think uh, one of the things that we need to talk about, too, is that uh, the importance of knowing what one's destiny is mm -hmm. and initiation in terms of being able to guide what you, how you function towards the fulfillment of your destiny. Mm -hmm. right. Because that is also an element. Uh, important leadership idea. is an important factor when it comes to knowing who leaders are and also for persons who are not leaders who are practitioners for them to also be able to fulfill their particular role mm. in the scheme of things you know, I mean? think, everybody isn't designed to be a leader uh, truly but i think ifa has in our wiki ifa has already put the structure for us to understand leadership. Now we say Mojuba Ola Damare and we come down Mojuba Imale or Imole Mojuba Orisha Mojuba Igungun there we go Mojuba Baba well we can say Baba Lao we have Baba Lorisha we have Yalorishas 
Then we have Baba Tobi Mi, Iya Tobi Mi, and Mojubato Ori. Now, Ori basically is, they say Ori is king. Or Ori's head leads our life. Your Ori is the highest representative of God in our life, the most important Orisha. We must appease Ori before we appease any Orisha. Appeasing Ori really means become conscious. Most people think that just because I did a ball to my Ori, that is it. It really means allow your, your Ori to become conscious of existence. So then understand, your Ori have to pay homage to the Baba and the ear that gave birth for your coming. So they are your first leadership. Well, I think also to um, in Ifa, because of the role that Oren Miller played in assigning the Ori as head of the body, that respects also has to be paid to Oren Miller. This is mm -hmm. one of the reasons why we do the Dubare when we go to our Ifa. Mm -hmm. Because oh. I should show the, the respect. Yeah, but yeah. go ahead, Baba. No, so I'll just take in, in terms of the structure is always there, but it's more to people to understand roles. So a child's first leader is the parents. But if the parent is not conscious, they really can't lead the child to fulfill a conscious life. As we say, in terms of the tradition, the most important beginning of our journey is our rites of passage from birth. We say, from that, and the guidance of the parents, the child already will be walking along his journey to fulfill his destiny. Yeah, definitely. Because they will know this is the part of this child. Now, the parents being aware and conscious, they now have to remember that they are taking care of a young one that is also growing up to be part of a, let me say, an important lineage community the community but like the family because remember now you're going to the ancestors of the parents who are the ancestors now when we 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 in our situation in diaspora our 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 lineage basically reaches maybe some lucky to have the great grandfather if they have not extended outside to know well where the great grandfather or the great great grandfather came from so if we, we, we look at the whole genealogy or the whole growth pattern, their leadership is an important role, not just in, now I want to go into the, the, the religious or the, the, the official leadership in terms of church tradition, office of leadership, but in terms of just generalized leadership, we as parents, we have to remember that we are the first leaders of our children. Definitely. Because if it is our children's political view supposed to be our political view. So if we have it wrong in our political view, we may guide our children wrongly in their polit political view. True. So same thing in terms of purpose, I say wealth accumulation. If the parents don't understand wealth, the child will never be able to appreciate wealth. So the father gave him a piece of land, he studied well, sell the land and back so that when leadership is important to know how do we lead our children or family towards the, 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 the growth and development that is benefit the individual as well as the community. Definitely. All right. Now, uh, right. now when we leave from the, 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 the parents, the ancestors, now let me come into the tradition. We have Babylonians and Yellowishas. They also are, are leaders in the community. Now, they're all supposed to be so easy because what they had passed on to the parents and the parents would have passed on to the children, the priest role would have been so easy that all you have to do is just help them to continue to live the good life. So when you have the leadership breakdown, because their parents, they love their spiritual parents more than their own parents. Because half of them they don't even know their parents. In terms of people in tradition, because I'm around them. Okay. They, 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 their commitment, their devotion to the mother, the, the leader, the father, the baba. They will not even give ten seconds to hear a word from their own parent. Hmm. Now, see where the leadership problems 
they start to begin. So if they don't have that discipline from the parent, then they go to the, the Baba or the ear. Now, when they now become at the level where they could say, I is a big man, I is a big woman. Hmm. Same discipline they didn't have by getting proper leadership from their parents, they bring it to the church and the, the shrines and the temples now. Definitely. So how Baba then teach me this? How Baba and showing me this and Baba showing that one that? How they do it so for me? They don't lose the discipline. So we, we, we have to look at the whole journey. Leadership is not just about the person who has it charge to say the prime minister, the president, or the chairman, but leadership. Everybody have to have their role of leadership. And if they have it correctly, it's only then the community will have proper leadership. Well, now, when we go to IPA, mm -hmm. we must pay homage mm -hmm. to Ojubona. <laughs> Everybody does, everybody does forget your Jubona. And they always, this my Baba. Yeah, my Baba is this, or my year is this, that one. But who's your Jubona? Because your Jubona would be the one who had introduced you to Ifa before you even reached that Baba to be initiated. Right. All right. right? Now, that's, that's a leadership role there again. So I, I, just, I, I just put myself as a Jubona. I... I'm not, I can't train no how much he has to be no Baba Lao under no lineage. But I could be a Ojubona. I can lead others to Ifa. I can lead those seeking Ifa that they may find Ifa. And I could assist the Baba Lao in also initiating those that I would have said, this is a good pathway you should take. You know? This okay, is a good then, lifestyle. But then, Baba, let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of people emphasize on the Babalawos as leaders, mm. right? I mean, you mentioned a few different roles. But in the tradition, uh, issues such as seniority, respecting elders, and all the persons above you in authority, mm. the way the tradition is structured, there are numerous types of leaders, whether they be titled or untitled. Um, in our tradition, in our community, a lot of the learning of the tradition is through the example of individuals who are senior to ourselves. So we learn a lot of things from observation particularly here in the diaspora, right? And I think one of the reasons for that is because of the colonization, we had lost the opportunity to be able to teach, not just hand on by practice of right, mm -hmm. but we lost the ability to transfer all the important details of what we practice. Mm -hmm. But we were not even allowed to speak in our mother tongue. In the mother tongues. Yeah. So because of this, we have lost a lot of information. So now, in terms of leadership questioners that I really want to ask is for the younger generations who are now becoming immersed in the tradition. Mm -hmm. How challenges, how hard or how easy you see it being given the fact that there is the absence of a lot of explanation. Because for them to fulfill their responsibilities as practitioners, as good followers, how will they be able to carry out that role in the absence of the detailed teaching of the information? All right. What are my observations? Because I have to use me as an experience. Coming up from young, there was only one trophy in this tradition, in the practice of, because I, I began in Orisha practice, Shauta Baptist, because Shauta was Christian, Hindu, Orisha. <laughs> so this week we'll be doing Indian prayers, planting Indian flags, 
Easter we planting our Saint flags, and later in in June or later June, we planting Orisha flags. Okay. So, so I had the experience in all these different aspects of our tradition, as what it was or how it how it used to be, and. The only trophy really was for me is either I become a leader, a shepherd, a pointer, or some religious officer. All right. The emphasis was just just live life good. You know, live the good life. Let the Lord bless you. You know, let Orisha bless you. But there was not a a a, a goal to really work up outside of either being. A spiritual head or a spiritual practitioner in one of the arts. I think what now I always emphasize on the eight essence of Ifa as popular and the ICR had had was does propagate the cultural essence, the traditional essence. We never had uh, things in place for the young ones to all challenge. So now we want chantwells. And now we are learning the language. So you want people to chant. Let's say chant with the proper tonal or proper pronunciations of, of our um of our songs. Okay. Now in my young age, it had my stand up aha. Okay. And that that was the key that preserved the Indian tradition in all the spare. So out of that, you got Suna Popo. You have all these great dancers coming out. You have these people who are doing the puja and the night nights, playing the music and the tabla. Masala Baha was the foundation for them to really develop and strive as young children, young youths, to get in the art of the, the tradition. Okay. They are the Tassa competition. Now, Outside of our festival, we really don't have nothing that does challenge young ones to really excel in the talent. The dance of Risha, we have to catch our spirit in Nepali. Because outside that, there's no way we could express, but we just go Cuba and go to the ballet in Cuba to see people dance the Orishas. Okay. We even just bring them here down here at UWE. But now we, I think we have a group did a production, Ojo did a production, I think a few years back here recently. Or we go to Bahia, or Brazil, mm -hmm. and see Orisha parading. See thousands of dancers, thousands of drummers, thousands of people portraying the Orishas and portraying the tradition. Okay. We, we just boast that we are the people of Carnival. We gave Carnival to the world. Carnival came from Orisha. The drumming, the Calypso came from the Chantwells. We have both of it. But they just have Calypso commutation, independence Calypso. But how, what do we put or put as a challenge for the young ones in terms of they can go down deep in research? Because to win the goal, you have to be good. Don't just sing a song that everybody sing. Sing the song and make sure that you can perform the song. Sing the song that you understand the song. Not just repetitive a song that everybody's singing. Or even bring your new songs. Because tell people, yes, we sing songs of old, but really, how old are some of these songs? You understand? How old are really some of these songs we sing? Because some of them are just for years, somebody bounce up and sing us. Because Yoruba was a pecong. Yoruba was a language they use. is a normal language. Mm -hmm. Like chutney. Okay. Well, one of the things is, you must have, all languages dynamic, so they change from time to time. Mm -hmm. Right? And a lot of the, the phrases you use in the language are a lot of times hinge the particular events in the history of a particular people. So a lot of times people on the outside of that language mm -hmm. would know what certain ideoms mean mm -hmm. unless it's explained to them. You know, yeah. If a person behave a certain way and they say, What well, hmm, use a man or what? Mm -hmm. Only a person from the country 
who probably lived through the times of man or Benjamin would understand what a person means if they call you that. Mm. You know, or another term people use, lagahu. Mm. If you ain't that Trinidadian, you wouldn't know what that yeah, is. No, yeah, no. You know, so because language is dynamic. <laughs> Right, it, it, so a person to really fully understand and appreciate the songs, the orikis, the different things we sing. Part of the meaning of those things are tied in the history of the people. So the way we sing here and the way they sing in Nigeria is two different things. No, that's exactly. So I'm saying, okay, we had... We had Bill Elton and JD Elder. Right? So, Kika Michael, you, well, you have you names you could call and people, Trinidad. Right now, as somebody said earlier to me today, the Caribbean have to be thankful for Trinidadians that help the Caribbean to become what it is. And what else? W.E.D. Boer, all these fellas had a link. Um, this one who was the next guy with Eric Williams. Capitalism and slavery. They were in we Trinidad was an intellectual community. You don't know CLR James and CLR and James, all these fellas. What? So we were Michael was, Anthony, you know, VS Nipple. We were filled with intellectuals. And even from young, we had brilliant children from young who traveled outside and became whoever what all big professional outside so i'm saying if from well let me say in the 80s from the 80s the same time in terms of masana baha we had a parallel avenue for all these young youths with their talent to come and there's something to offer there's some there's a price but the price don't come by just to do something but you have to do it to the best you have to have proper research so you know all what we are learning now if and all the uh, orikis and the the orin ifa Orin of Orisha, Orin of the, 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 the whole tradition, we have be far excel because the young minds now would have be all those elders that passed with so many secrets, the secrets would have been preserved. Okay. Well, I mean, I, I understand. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but. So I'm, looking, I'm there with the youth, yeah? How looking, mistake looking, from the past. Yeah. Looking back at what we could have do, but mm -hmm. it's not really. No, that's not saying. So, so yeah. what do you have to do now? That was saying. Mm -hmm. What you have to do? look at the mistakes. Look where we where would they be fall short? You have to be honest with yourself. Where did we fall short? Hmm. Well, you know, we never recorded because people believe our only tradition only meaning to speak. Okay, no problem with that. But let's make sure that if is this is our all tradition, Baba Ifa Bemiro, Baba Yoalewa, Baba So So So, Ia So 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 is orating the same message. You understand? So, because this now will make it our oral tradition. So, we have a grimoire, we have a musician sing the song, and we have the, the Babas and the ears to tell the stories, the pass on to the young ones. Because that is the essence of our tradition. So I'm saying, in terms of what we have for the youth now, because the youth now, they go on Google, they go on YouTube, they say, and they can see songs, they see dances, they see. But how many of us really relate to us? Okay, but then that brings the question of um, the local practice. Mm -hmm. How well is it recorded? How well mm -hmm. is it displayed? Um, youth involvement because again if we're talking leadership we're not just looking at the leaders we're looking also to yeah, those following the practitioners mm -hmm. you're also looking to at young people mm -hmm. and their role as members of our community mm -hmm. we have to look at what are we providing to engage young people mm -hmm. to keep them engaged in the tradition mm -hmm. and also for them to be um, the youth for them to be participating in what is going on, mm. right? Um, again, 
leadership is not just the babalaos and the priests and the people with all the fancy title because of the way the tradition is structured on seniority mm. the person who is just month senior to you is mm. your leader too mm. <laughs> not just the babalao or not just your godfather yeah. but all the persons who have entered into the tradition and have been practicing the tradition and especially those who have been developing and advancing mm. these are also your leaders mm. you know so i mean you know people seem to again you know we we in a sort of titled struck society and i'm not knocking anybody yeah i just no, no, well, that, that is that is how, how, how it is the right? Zen present here and mm. we need to see beyond that and with that i want to read this this essay Ifa, from otura mm. meiji mm. right this this came from osamara eb book on the complete works of foreign miller i'm going to read it and then we will talk about it a little yeah. bit all right the title for this essay Ifa, is the origin of coup d'etat against seniority and authority now this is not to, to go contradictory to what i was just saying no, because I'm, everything has to yeah, be put in it everything place. everything that, that has a beginning cause right. And right so this year is the origin of what is referred to as a coup d'etat mm -hmm. or what we just call in modern times a revolution a revolution the next revelation of Otumeji is how it came about that both the young and the old have some sort of authority. Traditionally, seniority of age was the test of wisdom and authority. Mm -hmm. A young person was not allowed to and dare not interfere when the elders were deliberating. Otumeji has told us how the tradition was altered to make it possible for junior persons to contest for position and influence with their elders. He tells us that when the young person or the youth and the elderly person or the elder we're going to ask for Ashe from God or Olurumari. They went for divination to three owls called Oten Loten Eja, which translate into English means soft sweet drink. Obi Lobi Hua, which means noble cola nut, and Imu Lemu. Ara John, 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 which is alcoholic wine. Right? One de fa fu mode i papo, abo fu, akbalagba i papo. They were both advised to make sacrifice, after which they left for heaven or Orun. When they got to heaven, Oludumare or God told them to return after seven days with 201 quarries each. Now, we all know back then quarries would have represented money, money, money and right. yeah. That was before Eshu closed the route leading from heaven to earth, the details of which we shall see in later books mm. right now i mean i don't want to go too much into that but there was a time when people used to come from orun to aye without birth the process of birth they just used to simply travel when mm. we needed people in aye we just used to yeah, travel them. Them. Yeah. and come down mm. all right it was still possible at the time to travel back and forth between heaven and which i was just explaining the elder had no difficulties in collecting 201 quarries 
the youth could only raise 50 quarries on the appointed day. They both set out separately for heaven or Arun. Meanwhile, the youth met the elder on the way and offered to assist in carrying the load of quarries for the elder, who was grateful for the kind gesture. The youth, however, told the elder that he could not travel at a slow pace. The youth therefore traveled at a faster pace, but promised to wait for the elder at the gates of Orun or heaven. The youth moved very fast and soon got to heaven. Be before getting to heaven, the youth tied up his 50 quarries together with the elder's 201 quarries. In a single parcel and left with it straight for the divine palace of Oludumare. On getting to the palace, he surrendered the parcel of 251 quarries as if it was his own prize for a higher authority. Oludumare, however, told him to wait the arrival to await the arrival of the elder. When the elder subsequently arrived, he thanked the youth for assisting him in carrying his parcel and for waiting for him. But when he demanded his quarry from the youth, the latter denied ever relieving him of the burden and insisted that the whole parcel belonged to him. He in fact accused the elder of attempting to rob him of his parcel. <laughs> the ensuing argument attracted the intervention of Oludumare, who asked how much each of them brought. The young man explained that he left home with 251 quarries because he was anxious to have a stronger authority. When the parcel was counted, it actually contained 251 quarries. So Oludumare then decided that the quarries belonged to the younger man and gave him the ashe. Mm. <laughs> so that ends the reading of, of this particular uh, essay, Ifa. So we, we, we could now um, get into having the discussion. Um, one, one, of the, one of the things we, we would come out, there's a statement we just make. Be careful what you wish for because you may get it. You know? And we now it gonna look like a quarter that they take place, but you know, it, it turns up cause and effect in life something that's happened and create a whole different situation than, than what was expected. And even if the youth may have done something wrong, that is how the universe moves. You want more power, take it. But even when you get the authority. Even any king plays on a crown, he still have to respect the elder. No matter what title they have, the, the, the law of justice. So yes, you, you want the role to take charge and be responsible for the citizens and different, but you still have to pay respect to the elder. So the universe, do, you know, people say, oh, so why God didn't, oh, let my, didn't punish the, the youth? Or why didn't take it and do like Solomon and cut it in half and get one and get the next one? So it's the, it's the principle of law, cause and effect. All sciences understand people. You can you can see it in Ifa. Excuse. You can learn it from Ifa, or you can learn it outside of Ifa and still realize. But you know that story speaks of this science. In terms of principles and laws of relativity, how things happen. We are talking about the narrow road, the broad road. But the question was. Where's your destination? <laughs> so, after you take the, the broad road or the narrow road, the question is where is your destination before you even start to take the road? Now, when we look at today, there's two types of leadership. There are leadership 
has to a name or title ship. Not, not title ship. That's all. That's all. Can I stop? Yeah, man. Hold on, let me cut. Hey, hey. All right, and then there's leadership in terms of responsibilities. All right, a lot of people don't understand the leadership is not just about I as a chairman, that a chairman is supposed to chair and have a proper meeting. That is a role. Using leader, but remember, you have the speaker of the house, but you are the prime minister, you are the leader of opposition, which is two leaders ourselves. But the chairman now becomes the leader of the two leaders for them to do their role because the, chair, the, the chairman or the speaker role is just to make sure her role is to have a balanced discussion. So, as you said earlier, everybody will have a role. So yet the young one would have achieved, but he was even granted the blessing of Lord Mary to keep because you think Lord Mary didn't know. <laughs> Surely he did. Yeah, he knows. No, well then you know the question is going to be: So if Lord Mary, mm. why would he allow the junior person to be given that action? To give it. <laughs> Why would he give the, the action to the junior person? But mm. assessing the whole thing, right? And interpreting and say equal, one has to look at five or six different things. Mm. Right? And one of the, 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 the things that you have to look at is the names of the Babalaos. Uh, what's going to that? Who will consult it? Mm. When you went to the uh, okay, hi, uh, yeah. uh, we have a, we have additional guests with us this evening. We have a coach, yeah, auntie, for here, yeah, auntie, yeah, right. Um, Ekabo, and welcome to the Ifa Orisha traditional discussion, right? We're now getting into an essay. Ifa. Mm. That I just read, read from Otura Meiji. Right? Um, I think before we actually start the program, we had some slight discussion about it. All right, so we're now going down into some of the details. And I was now explaining that one of the things that has to be considered when interpreting our essay is that we must observe the names of the Babalaos, that the divination for the individuals who are the main characters in the SAE part, right? And the three names of the Babalawas that were listed here, the English translation of the first one means soft, sweet drink. The other name is noble cola nut. And the third one is alcoholic wine. Alcoholic wine. Yeah. So just from the names of these, these three, it tells you something about the direction of the actual essay in by itself. Now, even though Baba, mm. the elder was deprived of the Ashe mm -hmm. because of his late arrival, mm -hmm. the late arrival is one of the issues. Mm. But from the names of the Baba Lao, that um, soft sweet drink, soft, sweet drink. Mm. would have probably been an indicator that the elders' words for the youth was never sweet. Okay? Now, here we see you have the, the title, Coach Eante. So I might want to pose a question to you here. As a counselor, as a person who deals with young people, what would you suggest would be the best approach for an elder if they're trying to get results from a young person? Should their words be like so sweet drinks? It's not a matter of speaking soft. It's a matter of valuing the person in front of you. So therefore, when you deal with the youth, they have to feel that they are valued. They have to feel that they are, you know, that we listen to them. And uh, it is true that often they speak differently. 
and uh, we cannot afford to feel offended because of the way they speak. On the contrary, sometimes we have to, you know, allow them to teach us also so that, you know, we, we show interest to step into the world because the only way they're going to want to listen to what we say when we are older is we got to show interest. All right. So it's like, for example, uh, what we're talking about tonight is very interesting. I have no idea how many youth would be logged in and watching. But the point is that if you want to get a lot of youth listening to such a message, you need to get some youth on the plat on the panel as well, so that they too could give you know their opinion. Allow them to speak the way they do. You know, sometimes it's true we feel offended, but as a counselor, the idea is to always remember that you know I am the adult, I am the leader. So um, you know you you. So that, that, is, that is, I think the answer is very um, relevant to all that we've been saying. Because in the tradition, we would be considered youths, eh? Because what I read in the mm -hmm. essay, Aoife, is that the tradition follows in the order of seniority. Mm -hmm. It's something we also discussed earlier. But you, you also mentioned something. The oh. second name of the yeah. Babalao that did the divination for both the youth and the elder mm -hmm. would have been Kolanat or noble Kolanat. Right in our tradition, mm -hmm. cool and not is considered to be something sacred. Sure. It's considered to be something of tremendous value. Um, beside the nutritional value, also the spiritual value. Because if we go into the SAE for or the Odu that deals with the Ori becoming the head of the body, what the Ori had to do. To, act, to gain that title of superiority over all the Imades is he had to break a kolana. That all the Imades tried to break and fail. The only one that was successful was the Ori. This is the reason why up to today, one of the most um, sacred or valuable considered uh, pro articles used to propitiate the Ori is the, the, the kolana. All right, now, the cola not hold a place of importance, significance, and all of that to show, I believe, not just the value that should be associated to youth, but also that value should be also associated to the elder. The point is the roles are different. Our discussion today is leadership, but we don't want to look at leadership from only one side. We have to look at leadership from all positions. Because to be a good leader, you have to be a good follower. Definitely. Yeah? And if you are a good enough follower, eventually you can become a leader. A leader. But in the tradition, leadership is an order of seniority. So basically, every person who is a member of the community who carries some sort of responsibility is in fact a leader. Okay. All right. Now, the last thing that is listed as one as the name of one of the Bible hours that did the divination for the divination was alcoholic wine. Okay, yeah. Right, which is something very commonly used in a lot of our rituals. Right. I don't want to hug everything and say everything, so I will allow Baba. Okay. Maybe to elucidate on the use of alcohol or wine in our ritual. What does it symbolize? And why would that be mentioned here? Well, let's say, no, no, they still, they still says wrong without smiling. <laughs> so here comes at the, at the end of the story, all there will be, all will be pleased and all, there will still be joyfulness. Happiness and joy. Happiness and joyfulness. All right? They used to say that. Wise men drink whiskey, fools drink wine. <laughs> so in terms of, it opens room for conversation. Hold on there a minute. Yes, sir. Yeah, well, comment, please. All right. I want to believe to hmm. now the three things that I mentioned. It's cola hmm. nut, noble cola nut. Yeah. So you have drink, wine soft drink and it's called soft drink. Yeah, so. All right. All right. So like what the, the basic principle let's talk. The morning of life, the afternoon, and the evening. 
right? In the morning, young ideas, right? Young. So the introduction to the two parties was at a young nature. There was trust. There was, how do you call it? Camaraderie. Let me help you, Elder. You look like you're straining. In the afternoon of the scenario, there will come a noble colonel. People start to know. Colonel gives you wisdom. Colonel gives you a path. Colonel gives you a Long life. Long life. Long life. Long life. But now reasoning comes in. But Colonel tells so the voice. So reason comes in. So the young one start to reason in terms of his own ideology. What do I want? So he go towards his ambition. I'll call it when in the celebration, in the drunkenness of power now, come in. Because he didn't want to share leadership, he want all. <laughs> well, I mean, it. now remember Oludumare knew everything. Yeah, no, I said, no, the drunkenness in terms of the youth, he became drunk with power. That's why he didn't say, okay, yes, we both had it. He said he, he he changed the whole story. I came with two hundred and fifty one Cory, and look by two hundred fifty one Cory because and, 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 and the elder, oh, and the elder tried to rob me too yeah, on top yeah, of that. Right, he tried to deprive me. That's the deprive. Right. So so it, it it is um that's in the essence basically gives us our life experiences. It gives us how the possibilities of life and the basic reactions. You notice Ola the Mary didn't make a judgment. He gave according. In his wisdom, because in ID, you don't have a lot of power. What are you going to do with the power? Well, Baba, I think another important thing too is that um, beside the three things mm -hmm. that were the three major elements that is shown in the essay, mm -hmm. because the elder is wiser than the youth. Mm -hmm. but he didn't have the speed and the strength so this right. is why he handed over the code he had to hand over he liked, yeah. he liked but, discernment as well no right. that's just saying so all the marriage judgment still put the same position that the elder will still have the authority because no matter who is you have to respect the elders who who comes a king the owner of Ife, it is the other ladies who had was to accept him i feel like how he get in there yeah, so you know but, the, um, the, the, the but then that you re remember the <laughs> words that the youth used to the elder mm. with sweet words. Sweet words. Let me help. You have a burden yeah. you're carrying, a heavy of load, course. and you have a far journey. Mm. So when the elder hear that, of course it, it affects his judgment that he yeah. says, yeah. oh, I, I ain't able to do this every day. Okay. And it's far we have to go to. So Within all, the, within all the three factors, the exchange, the communication between the elder well, uh, mm. and the youth have to be done, not just with tactfulness, but your words must be pleasant, mm. must be soft, must be sweet, in case you might have to swallow it. Yeah, to swallow it up after. <laughs> right, but also with the uh, cola, the noble cola now. It also means too that the youth have to value the elder, mm. and the elder have to value the youth, mm. and they give you the reason there in the SAE mm. because the youth is able to move faster, and they are able to carry what the elder is not able to carry. So a lot of the burdens, a lot of time, are the things that slows elders down. The 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 responsibilities that the elders has been taken up taken on since their youth. Mm -hmm. becomes burdensome and they are no mm -hmm. longer able to carry out these carry burden. Right. with the swiftness because mm -hmm. remember as i was saying earlier as of my experience even in all his journey there was mm -hmm. nothing really to sweeten my palate to really be out there other than just trying to be a good child of god all right. All right, Baba. We have like about six more minutes to the right. So yeah. just saying that so you know we had a look around. All right. So in terms of leadership, remember the 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 SLD, I forget what that's usually one for a little poem. 
the, the young child could not reach the, the jar on the shelf. Yeah, but the elder hand could yeah. go in the mouth of the jar. The hand could reach the jar. Mm -hmm. When the elder, his hand could not get inside, the child hand had also go inside to take out that both of them could have shared by their both effort. And, and this was saying in terms of what, when you ask about how do we motivate the young ones, let, we are the other one who, who have the understanding of the wider aspect of the tradition. We have to open opportunities for them to know to come participate, learn, express it, but also be able to know, put them in a position, they have to come to us, sit with us, learn from us, that their production can be what they want it to be. But they will have the essence from us, the others. I want to I wanna point out that uh -huh. within the essay, Ifa, notice that Olodomare put a stop by the gate. Mm. And he told you, mm -mm, wait until the elder come. Mm -hmm. So, so this like Olodomare, right, being fully aware of everything, mm -hmm. he still presented an opportunity. Mm -hmm. Sweet words. For people Noble to value each other, people. yes, <laughs> and for them to have an opportunity to be able to a good relationship. Together. Yeah, mm. was not taken, mm. right? And right, that's but, not that's familiar in life. And and this this why I said we have to know, as you see, bring the young ones outside. See so, you now our practice uses in terms of teaching the spirituality, right? Not the morals and the ethics, the morals and the principles that are required for, for our community to build. So, so everybody, because if you look at most of the message, everybody wants to know if I dream this, what does that mean? Sure. Mm -hmm. How do I do this ritual to get this? Mm -hmm. But how do I develop character that I could become wise? How can if I teach me that I can have the Iwa, Rere Iwa Pele? How could I know that I even what is my real Iwa? Because a lot of people is characters, you know, because I just hear some people pray and I look and I look to see the elder that are supposed to know when I'm about the elder. Who's that? What is your character when you go before the spirit? So how how do we we have to now develop things where we bring them to really participate, but know that they have something to achieve before they reach our eldership titles? No rush to be a, a I, I thought it was to just be a shepherd when I learned to make drum. I became a master drummer. I'm making drums, I'm playing drums, I'm styling drums, formulating drum beats. When, when I, in terms of songs and reading, I thought the reading was only about to invoke a spirit. When I could read and tell children a story and have people laughing at a story, asking questions to, to understand the morals and principles of mosquito and airs. Why do mosquito always bother your airs? Because mosquito and airs went and planted some corn together. Mosquito went away and airs took all the corn and sold it. When mosquito came back, he said, where's my share? Airs say, I have no share for you. I had to reap all by myself when he went away. Mosquito said, I will torment you for the rest of your life. Isn't today mosquito still tormenting airs? Surely. All right, Baba. All right. So, so, so in it closing, is, go ahead. So in closing, uh, it is, we have to get open avenues other than just our ceremonies and festivals to allow you to participate in other aspects and to practice elements of the tradition that they could also understand and apply to their life, not just a worship. Right. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, well, I would say in closing, um, two things, three things. Um, the first part, let your words be kind and soft between mm -hmm. elders and your family. Yes, sir. Value each other. Like the valuable cola, mm. and obviously, in the end, the end product is we all going to be happy and we all want to happy. Enjoy. Which is the one. Hey, I don't know, yeah, where you are the same clothes, and even though you missed part of the uh, presentation, yeah, they've missed most of it. <laughs> <laughs> no, in closing, it's just like to be gentle, as you say, you know, to, to have a sweet speech because you know, we need them, we have to show the way, we have to, you know, we have to guide them, and especially, we need to be tolerant. Okay, mm. especially with the youth nowadays, they're over energized. <laughs> I'm trying to find the right word, you know, but we just need to, to be patient and to be tolerant, you know. So mm. even if you know sometimes that we may feel very offended, it's okay. 
Because no man is perfect, and especially not the youth. They are younger. There, there are usually songs most people close, but I don't want to sing it. They just say, there's nothing shall stop us from fulfilling our traditional rights. But people have to remember, only you can stop yourself from fulfilling your traditional rights. I think I got one in a song, so when I get any song, we will sing it. <laughs> right, yeah, pleasant night, uh, by way for Bemi Road. Thank you again, and all viewers, be watchful because there are a lot of information that will come out and a lot of wisdom out of Ifa that you need to hear. I will say, Aboa Boye, Abo Shishi. Aboa Boye, Abo Shishi. Abo Shishi. See you all on the next stream, which will be next Friday. Next Friday. Okay. I'll see you. Okay, I'll see you. Have a good night. Uh,